let's take a look at some die cast spouse and i here looking around oh, they got, that's kind of cool i think i've seen that i like that color red oh that mustang back there's nice too oh looky here they got the k5 blazer the window no it's just a roll cage a roll bar yep we're gonna get that i think that's pretty cool i haven't seen it on that one time i saw it in um i've been to walmart I actually made it to Abington Walmart. They didn't have anything new, and they got the music so loud in that store now. It's kind of hard to hear. That's kind of cool. I really like these little M2s and the little boxes. They're neat. The Batmobiles are almost gone. 289s. I like these 76, this little series here, too. I mean, the modal here. I've never seen the uh, Castro van. Or the Chevy custom pickup there. That's the one. I'm, no, that's not the one I'm looking at. They got the Kindle, the 76, and that one. And by, well, they're $5 a piece. I figured they're going to be 6 dollars Got anything else down at the bottom? Oh, look at the Green Lantern little figure. Let's move these. Don't know about the truck, but I do like the little metal Green Lantern. Oh, I wrecked him. Sorry, Hal. Um, anything up top? I didn't even look. Let's take a peek through here. There's a Robin fighting the Frozen figure. Uh, I don't see any superpowers up there. That's weird. Oh, there's a superpower or something. Batwing, okay, then must not have the new vehicle yet. Um, still gotta find that Black Manta as you saw from my Wednesday video. If you watched my Wednesday video, if you haven't, please go watch it. I've got the new wave of superpowers, they all came in. I just need Black Manta from the previous wave, from the one that I showed you on Wednesday, to have them. Still got some Spider Man there, it's Spider Woman. Oh, they got somebody's been going through this, it's pulled out. Or I assume somebody has where it's pulled out. Oh, Kelly found a box. Just a second, I'll come Luke. Let me flip through these real quick. I'm not seeing anything jumping out. And so I found my treasure hunt. So I'm not too tore up on looking for them. But Kelly found a whole box of M2 stuck behind some Legos down here. So let's go see what the spouse has found. If I find anything in it, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll look in this box because there's a bunch of other Hot Wheels. Premium. I think that's that premium too. Uh, Hot Wheels cart. Yeah, it's the same thing as that one. Okay. All right, let's go see what Kelly found. Well, let's look at the toy aisle. Got Johnny Knoxville. Oh, they got the new Eddie Kingston. They had this one at the Bristol Wall. Oops, Walmart the other day. They got him in abundance. Well, not really abundance, but quite a few of them. That's kind of cool. I'm not super familiar with Eddie Kingston, but it's always cool to see new figures. And once again, oh, what's that? Oh, no Owen Hart. I have yet to see Owen. They have any of the new superstars? They do not. So got three scrap irons. That one's been tore open. That one's beat up. This one's kind of ding too. There's Boss Man. Got some clearance. Stridor's 18 bucks. Um, that thing is $15, marked down from $28, since so it's almost 50% off. I got a feeling these will be coming. How many of these they got? They got a crap ton of these. I probably shouldn't have paid full price for him, but he is cool. And he is nostalgic from the man who collects youth. What we got over here? Any clearance? Snout Spout, Leech. We've still got a bunch of shipwreck and rock and roll was it a crimson guard ever make an appearance i think someone finally got him he was on the back of that pig there and all those lady jays are gone so i think somebody snagged him we'll check the video game out here a little bit before we turn back around is that gi joe's up there it is not someone just commented on my youtube one of the videos on there that i am on fire my ears are kind of burning. Uh, oh, they finally got this stuff back on clearance. Vader down there is 16 bucks. 
big dragon here is 19 they're 20 and we're gonna look through those make sure there's no chases here in a second oh they got some clearance star wars too the emperor's 20 dollars down from 24 big chewy back there so i don't know if these are i don't know boba's not okay boba's still 34 dollars. oh they got the new um what was his name curse cursantin that's the big black wiki in it it feels like it's pretty beefy that's cool right there if i collect this oh, 45 dollars take that back i'm glad i don't collect star wars general kenobi yukon phil and other star wars people i feel for you <laughs> my wife is trying to organize the toy out down there and they got a bunch of these there's luke and grogu a bunch of these they got one two five of these things let's hang the hang them back up here let's put eddie kingston back down here i'm doing what i was making fun of her for doing all right let's make sure we don't have any chases i overlooked a chase on one of these a while back i don't want to do that again star wars mission fleet on clearance too bad the is atat -AT down to 33 dollars okay no that says obi-wan um, there's no way to see him punk in there, is there? Okay, Cody's not going to stay there. There we go. Man, are those 60 bucks for those AEW Supremes? All right, what else we got up through here? We got $20 for Dungeons & Dragons figures. Those are now showing up at Ollie's for $9.99. $20 on those Carter ones, too. That little small stuff there is not clearance. We got a King of Crunch here. The clean version of Bigfoot. I already got that one. Any of this stuff on clearance? I see we've got some Superman and Captain Adams. Oh, the Batwing and the Supermobile. Oh, my buddy's down to ten dollars. I paid twelve fifty for you, buddy. Knew it was worth it. I want to check that. I've seen some people finding that on clearance as well. We got a Robin. We got a Batman up there. Okay. No Batgirl, but to be quite honest, not too tore up. I gave up. I ordered Batgirl, I think, off of McFarlane. It's high shipping, I know, but things that's not showing up in my area. And I got the rest of the wave, and I won't miss out. This, to my opinion, is one of the best-looking superpowers to come out so far. The Flash. I kind of like the way that looks as well, even though it's not really a traditional superpower. I found some of those at Ross the other day, or just one of them. I think it was that one, actually. Duke Thomas. Uh, infected bat that infected Batman glow in the dark is already marked down ten dollars on Amazon. Oh, and today it's already sold out again. The 989 Batmobile 2 pack went back up for sale on Amazon. Hopefully some people grabbed that. I tried to message everybody that I could remember telling me one and one that missed out. I got Batman. Who's that in the pack back there? It's Abe. Ocean Master. I see another. There's another vampire Superman. Captain Adams. This is a vampire. Nope, that's a Dark Knight Returns. Black Adam version. This isn't on clearance. This is it. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I don't even see a tag for that thing. I think it's 30 bucks. We're going to scan it just to be sure. Cleaner season. It gets the man collects excited. Oh, what are these? They all and yeah, Nightwing. Is that Nightwing? Yeah. Okie dokie. Can't believe my buddy's ten dollars. Hopefully, people buy and give him a good home. Thirteen bucks there for that Lex Luthor set. I don't think I got that. Did I pay full price for that? No, I don't think I got it on clearance. Hopefully, I got it for the nine dollars. It was on clearance. I hope I can catch those Batmobiles right there. Go on clearance. Uh, X Men '97. Oh, the Marvel Legends. Are the Marvel Legends um, X Men '97 figures? Somebody let me know. Are they Target exclusive? Ton of Pokemon stuff. I know Gambit. I think is definitely Target exclusive. But I don't know about the other figures, but it seems like Target is the only place they seem to be showing up currently. Oh, man, the clearance stuff down there, new stuff showing up. Oh, I did what I said I wasn't going to do. I walked right past these and didn't look for... Ch 
chase stickers. Oh, nope. Wolverine mask ever hits clearance, I'll probably buy that. I'll tell you what, everybody, if this thing ever hits clearance and I get one, I'll wear that for the wrap up. If anything, it probably won't hardly fit on my big head, so if it's painful, that means I won't talk very much. I'll hurry up and get the wrap up done. I just didn't listen to me as long. They've got a black suit Spider Man and a Carnage one of these at the GameStop right now in Bristol, and I'm curious about buying. Um, we got the new wave yet. Genghis, Wingnut, Nope, Wingnut, Baxter. I got some up there, Baxter. Oh, there's a splinter. I don't see him all the time. And we got some Transformers. I don't see anything new. And there's a little man sitting there looking at some toys. We're not going to bother him. But that's going to do it for the diecast. That's going to do it for the action figures. Got some exciting stuff here. We got some Walmart clearance finally hitting. We'll see how long these things stay on clearance this time. $24 or so too much for that. 16 is not terrible for that. They come down some on it. But I got a feeling those bat wings are going to show up at Ollie's one day. And all these superpowers are going to flood Ollie's. Because they're just not already selling anywhere. There's so much stock of it keeps coming in. But I'm rambling, and I'm going to stop doing that now. I want to just see out of curiosity if these Vampire Batman and Captain Adams are on clearance. If they are, actually right there is Captain Adam for $16. Where is Superman? That's not Vampire Superman, is it? 12-inch Deluxe, no. I actually don't see Superman on the top. Oh, yep, there it is. Yeah, they're showing 16 bucks. We'll still scan them. I'll let you know in collectibles, but I'll see you there. Here we go, Bristol, Tennessee, Walmart heading in here. They've only been open a few minutes, so we should have first run of the toys. <laughs> Last few times I have been in here, found all kinds of stuff. So let's see if that streak continues. We are definitely the first one in the store. It was like 6.08 or something when I was walking in doing the intro, and they started the doors locked. <laughs> I stood there for a second, and finally some guy came down and opened them, and apologize but hey no big deal to me we still got in uh, i got a sexy shredder there but no no the new wave here i still got something up there i see some Raphael storage shells once again it's extremely stocked toy section <laughs> i gotta admit guys i see these and i get excited thinking oh, they're on clearance but, you know, they're on clearance at Walmart. There's the Rose, Ben Riley, Miles Morales. Apparently, this is a bad case. Lady Daredevil back there in Chasm. Look at the whole wave, I think. Does this have the wave on the back? I think I've about got the whole wave of these now, except for Miles. I didn't pick him up, but I got Ben Riley. I got the Rose. I got Tarantula. I bought Jessica Drew on clearance at Target. I bought Lady Daredevil, and I won Chasm on Yukon Fields one year anniversary live stream. I mean, Iron Man's jacked up. I still got a Strucker. I'm going to scan him. Like two of them, actually. I'm going to scan those before I leave just to make sure they're not clearance price. Let's take us. There's a Batwing already. I see Nightfall Batman. Guys, this store has a Nightfall Batman like every time I've been here. They do have the new superpower vehicles. Figures, figures. Oh, crap. Old figures. What's up here? Uh, two rows of figures on the back. I don't see any of them. Still got to find Black Manta. Okay, we got sidetracked there. Sorry. Where was that? Uh, they got some little X-Men. Cyclops, Wolverine, and another Cyclops. The Wolverine mask. There's a planogram. X-Men roleplay, X-Men. Trying to say anything about Vampire Green Lantern. I only found him once so far. Invisible Jet and the Batmobile we're going to take a look at here in a second. But here we go, Nightfall. One, two, two of them, and a Batwing. Another Batwing, Duke Thomas, another Batwing. There's another Batwing. So Nightfall Batman, unless these keep getting constant restocks, is peg warming at this Walmart. 
and they could be getting restocks of it i don't know i don't want to sit here and say it's peg warming and this is so far i said i had all this stuff i have not bought this i have not got the invisible jet yet there's batman raven donna troy nightwing and raven the titan build a figure that awesome little crusader batmobile still got that baby oh this is pretty cool this is an awesome Batmobile for anybody that has not got this thing. I've got it on display in my toy room. If I ever show a room tour, you'll see it. But I've got it side by side with the original Kenner's or Kenner uh, Batmobile from the 80s. I very highly recommend that. If you don't buy superpowers, you might Batman. At least buy that Batmobile. There's another Batman fighting the Frozen. I don't think there's anything else behind him up there. If there is, at last I kind of preach him. What do we got here? Oh, they got the new Star Wars. This guy, Kersantan. Is it only $33 here? It was $45 at Greenville Target. Or Walmart. <laughs> Target. We might scan that. I want, I'm curious if that's cheaper price. What else we got here? Bix Kaleen. Mon Mothma. Got that little dude. Lando. Uh, HK87. I didn't pay any attention. I don't think they had the the end cap. We're seeing of those. There's an the ultimate. Who we got? Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Those are older ones, aren't they? I remember seeing that Jeff Hardy on clearance at the Greenville Walmart. AW Supreme. Kenny Omega. Seth Bayer, if anybody watches him, he had a funny rant on that thing on his channel. He tried to order the CM Punk and they sent him Kenny Omega. And I get it. Don't get I'm not making fun of him or anything. I get the frustration, but he was mad. I tell you the pre-order stuff, I talked about this with somebody in the comment section of one of my videos the other day. I'm I'm about done with pre-orders, to be quite honest. A lot of the times the ones I get in are beaten up and then you see them on the store shelves before you actually get your pre-order. Oh man, I still want that guy. That's in good shape too. They got a few of them there. So I don't know. If they're online exclusives, of course you don't have much of a choice if you want the figure that is. It's like those um, Jokerized Two-Face and Jokerized um, Scarecrow. I pre-order those from Target. They come in, they're smashed. Then I go to the store and there's like two cases of each on the shelf and they're perfect. Oh, cool. Look at that. Donkey Kong. I'm taking a picture of Donkey Kong. I'm going to take a picture of this toy owl. Um, I forgot Legos behind me. we got to check that out. Among Us, Pokemon... Let's scan the Lego. This was one of the first Walmarts. I found good stock of the, what are they called? Lego minifigures, the Marvel minifigures in. I'm not, oh, Bluey. There's an episode of that, Sticky Gecko. Kelly and the kids get a kick out of that because she's there, it reminds them, her of trying to get them kids ready in the morning. <laughs> oh, is this on rollback? Oh, AT, AT Walker, nope. Do they have the AT-AT walker? I thought somebody might put that in front of it trying to hide it. All right, let's walk over here and see what we got in the back. We're going to try to get all of this Walmart in one shot. Mostly because I know unless somebody snuck in behind me, there's nobody else in here. Look at this thing. Switch and go VTEC. That's a cool looking end cap of anything. Let's peek down here and see if they got any more minifigures. No... There's an older Speed Champion set. It was like a little overflow clearance. Let's check that out too. Let's just do that while we're down here. Okay, no. I gotta remember to scan those legends before I leave here. Most of the time I look at this stuff and I think, I wanna scan that before I leave, and then I forget and I don't scan it. Hot Wheels Ben. RC cars, and here we go. What do we got? Oh, I like that old Chevy there at Silverado. 
What do we got in these? Try window Ford. Datsun, huh? Nothing too sexy in those. That thing is sharp right there. There's Knight Rider. Another Knight Rider. I got a turtle wagon. That thing's pretty cool. I picked that up here a while back. What have we got in these? Got Kindle. And 76. I actually saw another one of these. Well, you saw it. The Greenville Walmart. Uh, we saw the Datsun 620 there. I think it's the one I saw. Those are nice. I'd almost pick those up, but... I don't think I'm going to. Got a car down there in Batman Batmobile. Another car behind it. Uh, what else have we got? I wonder if they're going to have any turtle two packs today. This place has had either part one or part two turtle two packs. The last, I don't know how many times I've been here. Somebody at the Greenville Walmart. I don't think I filmed it. If I did, I'm sorry for telling you again. They had found out. This is one they didn't have. Number five. They had hidden um, all of these, but this one in a box behind some Lego there. So I hope they got those. And if you see this, hopefully you'll see they got a couple of number fives here. Actually, there's some more number fives. There's a little Bronco. I picked that up. All right, they got the gold Batmobile too. I think that thing's pretty neat. All right, that's going to do it for main tool, y'all. We're going to go scan some Marvel Legends, make sure we don't have any clearance deals. We're going to look here, make sure there's no new superpowers behind there. Ah, oh, there's the page puncher. I can't see. Actually, there's only one there. Okay, so it's just the Batman. Let's go scan those Legends, see if they're on any kind of a clearance, and I will go to collectibles after that. If I see anything in collectors, I'll show it to you. If I don't, I'll see you somewhere else. We are here in collectors. We got Mighty Thor there, Fruit Loops. They do have some turtle two packs from part one. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, we got Battle Damage Shredder. Oh, they have got, okay, okay. If you wanted to get I guess the main players, you've got Raff and Mikey, and these are all in really good shape, guys. You've got Splinter and Shredder, and then you've also got, they've got two each. So there's another Raff and Mikey right back there. See that box? And then here you got Leo and Donnie, so you can get all four turtles, Shredder and Splinter, at this Walmart. <laughs> this Walmart, man, this place is a hitter. Hudson, you got Peg Warming Nightfall Batman. You got new superpowers vehicles. You got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Part 1 NECA. What else could you want? But that being said, that is about all they got back here. <laughs> got some Tony Terror. There's Jason, Ghostface, and Ash. But that is going to do it for this Walmart. If I do find anything else here, I will show it to you. If I don't, then I'll see you at the next. Here we are, Brown's Mill Walmart. I haven't been here in a couple of weeks or so, so. We're going to run in here and see what we can find in this old place. We've had some good finds here over the years, so let's go see if it continues. Let's look at some Transformers. And these have been clearance by every place else I've seen them. And they were clearance for the actual retail price at the one place we saw, but they were down to $18 at the home base Walmart in Grainville. What else we got here? Still got a Newton Mayhem at the Yin Yang. Got some movie star wing nut. It's one that got the new wave yet. Genghis. Those are all movie stars and a Genghis. There's nobody up there. They have a huge stack of those hulks. Where are they at? The fifteen dollar hulks. Oh, there they are down on the shelf. Uh, what else we got here before we get down to the corded spatties? We still got Electra, Jessica Drew, Ben Riley, Chasm. There's the Rose back there. It's an awesome figure. Miles, Tarantulas. They got the whole wave of these pretty much, I think. I think they're worth missing. Siren. It's collecting Havoc's lady. 
Uh, zombie Iron Man. Nothing too sexy in that. Got the Wolverine glove, our X-Men. I gotta say, that little Target X-Men figure set that has Gambit in, that's... I hope they put Gambit out in these. I've already bought these things for 10 or $11 each, whatever they are. And I've got Storm, who comes with the Blackbird. So, you know, if I want Gambit now, I'm gonna have to pay $45 for Gambit. <laughs> Hopefully that hits clearance. Uh, we do have a black um, lightning. Oh man, that is. I guess when they open the case, they cut. The, oh, there's another one. Okay, it's in better shape. This is an awesome looking figure, I think. I like the color on it. Those blues look cool. I was kind of hoping we would find another vampire green lantern. I think I've got a buddy. Oh, you see that little catch there with the forearm? Caught my buddy. I think I got another buddy who's looking for that green lantern, so. There's Bruce Wayne. Let's make sure there's a unicorn. I'm surprised they ain't clearance these things yet. Who we got here? We got Adam Smasher, Captain Adams out the wazoo, and Dark Detective Batman. There's nothing up top. I see some legends up there and some superpowers. I don't see any McFarlane. Down there, we'll check down there and see if they got anything. I don't see anything on God, look at the Bowsers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one other on the shelf of Bowser. There's a He-Man. Uh, five Nights at Freddy's stuff. Let's check that while we're standing here. Now let's see what they got down here. There is a Batman, Batman, there's a Flash, the speed metal wave, a couple of those. You got Kid Flash, Jay Garrick. Oh Lord, I just took out Aquaman with Batman. Another, what is it, Robin? Yep, Mr. Freeze back in there. There's no Batgirl. No Vampire. Green Lantern. What else we got? Let's just flip through these, make sure. Got no news hiding anywhere. Oh man, that green lantern is crushed. Nope, we did see the vehicles this morning though. At the tennis, Bristol, Tennessee Walmart. I still got those two here, neither one clearance. Um, there's a Keaton Batman, the 10 inch figures. Crusader Batmobile, that thing is sweet, I think. In my personal opinion. No chases and micro galaxy squadrons. There's a Mr. Freeze. Uh, bunch of Mario figures. I see some G.I. Joes down there. And a whole bunch of Motu. We'll take a look at that. Look at all the Point Dread and Talon Fighters. Those will be like the Rotons. Those will be clearance for too long. Um, the Spider Man or Spider Man? Okay. The Mario Castle there, it was clearance that um, Target, someone just ran right there dressed as the Grinch in a big onesie. Yeah, that's the world we live in nowadays. That's a cool looking Joker. Yeah. Dungeons and Dragons, AT, AT Walkers. What we got here they got the that is 33 bucks i must have misread it this guy's cool looking kirsten or whatever his name is luke and grogu's fix colleen we got some more of these um all kinds of wrestling the ultimate warrior ultimate There's a little scrap iron. All scrap iron. Was that a snake eyes there? Nope, they're all scrap iron. Oh, we got an earthquake. Two earthquakes. There's the rock. So we got some new of those. I have to find, I think there's a Vader out in that now. And someone else I saw wanted to get a bunch of stridors up there. Nothing else worth trying to dig down. 
Oh, there's moss man flocked that's cool we got two or three of those back in there oh one two four of them that's pretty cool i don't remember if i saw those here before or not there's more pointing than dread and talon fighters oh they got some snake men serpent claw man at arms the sorceress Uh, rock and roll, Baroness, Shipwreck, Lady, Jays, Gung Ho. And yeah, I think that is going to do it. There's another black lightning in it. They got multiverse stuck everywhere back here. I'm really going to have to go scan the tops of this stuff. See some white boxes. Nope, those are not multiverse. So unfortunately, no vampire green lantern. They do have the black lightning figure though. But hey, I'm sure we'll see green lantern here again eventually. But that is going to do it for the action figure aisle. Let's go check out some die cast. We have come back to the home base Ross to check it out. I went in the one in Bristol today and actually found a bunch of multiverse figures. No bad cycles though. I was going to record, but there were a bunch of, you know, guys in there in their probably early 40s swarming the toy house. Kind of annoying. <laughs> Let's see what they got. Here we are in Ross. Um, nothing there on the front. Let's see what we got. Oh, they got some classifieds. $5.99. They got both. I don't think. Oh, yeah, the Tomax and Zaymar. They got both twins. I've got one. I don't have the other. Mm, five bucks. I'm probably going to get both of those. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to my buddies on Instagram and here on YouTube. Dave. Dave, you sent me a message today, buddy. He said you're putting you got some positive vibes about my, my Ross stores sucking lately. And, man, it paid off. Stalker. The Twins. They don't have a multiverse. They got some G.I. Joes I've been wanting. So that's awesome. Like there's Duke Thomas. I went to the Ollie's in Bristol, or Ollie's, the Ross in Bristol. Like I said earlier, when I was walking in, but um, I couldn't film. But they had some new stuff too. They had a bunch of multiverse figures, but none of the bat cycles. So we're going to see if we might can find bat cycles here. Um, Hot Wheels RC. Oh man, those GI Joe finds are awesome. This at maximum, I don't know, this is the, my Alexa sending me text messages reminded me of something, so they got quiet, I apologize. That's pretty cool, it's one of the, part of Devastator. Um, I don't know if we want to find any bat cycles, but we did find some G.I. Joe. Getting back up to the front now. Let's look at this. And then the bottom down here. Don't see anything down there. Mm -hmm. Let's check back here. Nope. No bat cycles. Anything back here? Nope. But hey, we found those classified GI Joe's. We didn't find Crimson Guard for five dollars a day, but we found some twins and stalker. Still got. Aquaman there. Anything on the little racks here behind us? Dragon Ball and some other stuff. Let's poke out here real quick. Just to make sure nothing is back here. Nope. Clothes I couldn't fit on my leg. And let's just check over here. That stuff. Alright. Alright. That's going to do it for this one. I'm going to dig through this stuff a little bit more thoroughly off camera so i got both hands to look around if i do find anything different or anything else cool i'll show it to you but if not i will see you at the next oh green goblin well hello there let's wrap up another week of toy hunting man it's hard to believe that the week is already over it feels like it was yesterday that i was starting this off with my walking into walmart saying let's get on with another wonderful week of toy hunting 
And here we are at the end of it. But we had some more stores in this one for you and found some more cool stuff this week. So let's talk about where we were and what we saw. One thing we're going to talk about is my struggle in here with lighting. Trying to get good lighting here on this table to do these wrap-ups, show you this stuff. And I'm just going to ramble on for a minute. But anybody's got any good suggestions on lighting to use that does this stuff or any kind of video production, I guess. I've got a ring light there, but... It doesn't really cast enough light. And then when I show, I mean, one thing you know that I picked up was G.I. Joe's from, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, I need something to light up the front of this. I guess I need to get another ring light in front of my camera. I don't know, that's ramblings and rantings for another day. Let's talk about the toy hunt and where we were. Walmart's in a Ross in this one, guys. I did go into Burlington in uh, Bristol, Virginia. They didn't have anything. I went in Ross in Bristol, Virginia. Ross in Bristol, Virginia, which you didn't see in this video, did have a lot of DC Multiverse figures. And they had all the ones everybody's finding. Uh, Ghost Maker, Harley Quinn, uh, Blight, and all those, but no cycles. And I was going to record in there because it did have some different stuff, but there was all kinds of guys my age in there. And, we, there were, and me and about four other people were just mauling that toy aisle in Ross. There would be no way to film in there. So, again, it just, it's, uh, everything I found in there is the same DC stuff everybody else is finding, minus the bat cycles. i got to find those $6 bat cycles. Uh, where else did I go off camera in this one? Went back in Target this week. Uh, they did have a, a slight restock, and I did pick up what was restocked there. We'll talk about that when we get to the haul portion here. Let's talk about the stories that you did see me in, and that is Walmart in Greenville, the home base Walmart. Kelly and I went there the other night, and I decided to film a hunt. Um, as far as finding sexy, exciting things in there, I didn't. But it was fun to get out with Kelly, and I decided to film while we were in there. Uh, one thing I did see, clearance stuff starting to hit again. Um, the superpowers, the Batwing, and the Supermobile. You know, I don't. One thing I don't get, just to rant on again, that they don't put the figures on clearance, but they put the vehicles on clearance. I mean, it's time to get the Nightwing and the Deathstrokes and the Wonder Woman and all that off the pegs and get the, the latest waves on there. I don't see why they don't uh, clearance the figures. Um, I have seen them in the clearance aisle, but they're on clearance for $9.97, which is regular retail price. But anyways, that's a rant for another day. But I have seen those the vehicles, the Batwing and the Supermobile uh, on clearance in multiple Walmarts this week, usually at varying prices. Some have it for $20. Some have it for $16. And I've seen some videos on YouTube. People were finding them for $15 and $10. And the mascot, he's back on clearance. What do you think about that, Bats? You can't escape Batman. That's right. You can put him on clearance. You can't escape him. Villain, surrender. Surrender and buy this guy. <laughs> highly, highly recommended by the man collects. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm hyper tonight. But anyways, other stuff we saw in there. D&D uh, &D was on clearance there. D&D &D showing up at Ollie's. Um, I saw some at the Bristol Ollie's there. I think I had it in my Monday hunt video. They had Forge, I think, and some of the animated uh, carded characters there. But uh, they're still 20 bucks in Walmart where I've seen them. The big dragon, I, I like that dragon. I'm tempted to get that dragon. But uh, anyway, he's down to $19. That was the clearance price. This stuff was at a while back. And then like a week later, it shot back up to full price. And it's been there now for a couple of months. So don't know if the clearance prices will last. But hey, they're clearance right now. Uh, Star Wars figures, new stuff they had in there. They had the... Kersantan, is that how you say that? The the black colored Wookiee? That thing looks pretty cool and that box feels kind of beefy. Um, the peg that's hanging on at the home base Walmart, and I went back in tonight before I filmed just to verify, shows $44.97 for the price. But everywhere else I've seen him, he's been $33.97. Haven't done any online research, so I'm not sure what the actual retail is for him. I think $45 for some of those Star Wars figures is a little, little up there. I mean, that Luke and Grogu set's 45 bucks. Um, I know the one I got, the two-pack I got for the uh, giveaway, I think it was, what, like 55 The Cad Bane, Cobb Vance, I can't remember. But anyways, like I said, I feel sorry for Star Wars collectors. Um, another thing we found in there, I found that little M2 Chevrolet Blazer uh, die cast, that little uh, oh, what, like 80s model K5 Blazer, I don't know what it is. Actually, I'm out in my toy room, which is uh, outside of my house. I forgot to bring it out here to show it to you, but you saw it in the video. I did pick that up. I probably said I was going to pick it up in the video. I don't remember. Uh, the next Walmart you saw me in is becoming one of my absolute favorite Walmarts to go in. That is the Walmart in Bristol on the Tennessee side of the border there. But uh, once again, I'm going to make a statement that I never thought I would say when this figure was released. I know of two Walmarts where Nightfall Batman is peg warming. Yes, Nightfall Batman, not selling, peg warming. Every time I go in that Walmart in Bristol, Tennessee, those, and I, 
I've done some stuff to kind of, I guess, be a little devious, but I've moved it to certain locations to see if it's still there, and they're, they're still there. And I take them and put them back on the pegs next time I go. At Bristol Walmart, also in Virginia. So Virginia and Tennessee both have Nightfall Batman that have been sitting on the shelf now for well well over a week. Those ones in the Tennessee Walmart you saw me in the video, um, those have been there for two or three weeks. But uh, like I said, the Two Faces Batman sells quick when it comes uh, to Walmarts here in my area. But Nightfall Batman is peg warming. That's very surprising to me. I thought that figure would be, you know, darn near impossible to find, especially given the popularity of the Hush Batman when it was out. And I thought Night Nightfall Batman would be bigger than that. But anyways, another side rant. I need to quit ranting in this thing, get it wrapped up. But they did have Batwing and Nightfall Batman there. Um, the coolest thing in there, again, in the collectible section, they've had TMT NECA Turtles there. Every time I have been in there, either part one or part two movie, uh, they had part one this time. They had all four turtles. They had two of each two pack of Leo and Donnie and Raph and Mikey. And then I don't remember if they had one or two of Shredder and Splinter. But to me, that's the, the three two packs I got. That's, in my opinion, the best ones. Uh, they had all three of those two packs of that Walmart there and all of them in very, very good condition. The boxes were almost flawless. So if you're looking for those, that was on Tuesday morning. It is now Thursday evening. They may still be there. I don't know. And hey, there could be a Nightfall Batman there. And I, I know those Nightfall Batman, they could be flying off the shelves. They just may get a restock in. But it just it shocks me how readily available that figure is right now in at least two Walmart stores where it doesn't seem to be moving. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's talk about the Walmart in Johnson City, Tennessee. That's the one on Browns Mill Road. Um, have not been there in a couple of weeks to hunt, so I was kind of excited to get in there and see what we can find. I'm hoping to find another gold label um, Vampire Green Lantern. Um, I've got a, I got a buddy who's looking for that thing, so I'm trying to help him out there. We're going to try to find that this weekend if we can get out here and hunt a little bit, maybe to track him down. But um, they didn't really have a whole lot in that Johnson City to, uh, Walmart. Well, I always say this, and I always backtrack it. They had stuff. We're not being negative on this channel. They had stuff in there. Just none of the stuff the man collects is currently seeking. Um, they did have some of the new Star Wars. Um, the Chrysanthemum is the only one I could remember of the new wave. And I'm sorry, guys. I don't uh, study Star Wars enough to know who's new and who's not. But I know that he is. But um, They had him there. Um, the gold label Black Lightning. They didn't have Green Lantern. They didn't have Black Lightning. Only the second time I've seen him in store. Um, only bad thing. One of them. It looks like when they cut the box open, they cut across the plastic on the front of the box. And, Man, somebody is flying down the road out there. If I come through on the video, I apologize. But anyway, that's all we really saw there in that Walmart we're talking about. Collectible section was really well stocked. But it's nothing really new. It's stuff we've been seeing in Walmart collector sections now for quite a while. All right, that's all the Walmarts talked about. Now, the Ross in Greenville, Tennessee. I got to say, my buddy Dave on Instagram, um, he had found those bat cycles at his Ross. He sent me a message today. You know, he said he was pushing that positivity towards me, hoping I would find something. Well, I went in the Ross in Bristol, and again, they had the multiverse figures. None of them I needed, but still, the first time I had seen that many in, in a Ross store. And then I thought, well, going home, there's a Ross, you know, five minutes from my house. I was like, I'm going to head, head by a Ross on the way home. And man, I'm glad I did. They had those G.I. Joe classifieds. They had the twins. They had Stalker. Uh, no bat cycles. They did have some multiverse and stuff, too. We saw it in the video, you know, what I found of that Ross. So I did get to film in that one. So thank you, Dave, for pushing me some positivity, and I found some cool stuff there in Ross. And that has renewed my want, need, to, or I guess want or burning desire, to go to more Ross stores. So we're going to burn them up this weekend. But as far as the hunt, that's the stores we went to, the stuff we saw that I can remember and that I made notes on that I wanted to talk about. Now let's get into the toy haul. I have an eBay purchase here. This is something I have been seeking for quite a while. Every toy show you saw me go to here a few months back, I was looking for one specific a DC Multiverse figure that I could not find. I've also been searching on eBay for it. Could I could find them on there all day long, but every time you look at the pictures, they were beaten all to crap, just to be honest about it. But I did find one in good shape for a reasonable price. Actually, the guy took a little bit less when I offered it, so let's just show it. I finally have a Zack Snyder's Justice League Ben Affleck Batman, a Batfleck. This is not the platinum version. This is the regular version. And I'm going to pick up, I think it was the Entertainment Earth exclusive back in the day, but the one with the uh, where he doesn't have his mask on. I want to grab that one too eventually. It's around the same price I paid for this one on eBay. But I'll grab that one one of these days. The Platinum I'm not interested in. That thing's up over 100 bucks. I'm not paying that much for a multiverse figure. But very glad to have this. It's in very good shape. So the hanger's good and straight on it. There's not any scuffs, discolorations on the box. Plastic's in good shape. Glad to finally have this guy. Um, the Fort Henry Walmart 
When these were out, actually out in stores before I started doing YouTube, of course, I had this thing in my hands for $19.97 so many times and I put it back because I had so many of them on the shelf. Well, yeah, I regret that now because I paid, you know, I think 50 bucks for this guy off eBay, but hey, we got him. That's all that matters. But ben Affleck Batman now goes in the collection. I still got to pick up the black suit Superman, uh, the regular Flash figure, and then I'm not getting Dark Side or the, uh, or... Steppenwolf, and that'll complete my Justice League wave there. So we still got to pick up two more figures to wrap that up. All right, the next thing I picked up was at the Bristol, Tennessee Walmart, and we got the Invisible Jet. Only reason I got the Invisible Jet is that I don't have the Invisible Jet, and I want to be a completist on the Superpowers line. Now all I need are the Walmart exclusives, Black Manta and Reverse Flash. As soon as I find those, I will have them all. But yeah, we picked up the Invisible Jet. I'll leave this thing in box. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't have bought this if I just didn't want to try to get all of that wave. Um, it doesn't really appeal to me, but I want to get all the vehicles and all the figures for the superpowers. All right, next, we'll look what we picked up at Ross. Now, one thing with Ross, when I found those G.I. Joes, um, I had bought one of the twins, you know, uh, Tomax and uh, Zaymont, I had bought one a few months back at GameStop in Bristol. I got in there, I had no idea which one that I had. So I did get one of each of the twins and there you can see them. And I got home and realized I now have two, number 44, I've got two of Tomax. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other Tomax, but I do have two of these. I didn't really wanna leave one on the shelf or take a risk of getting the one that I already had. So I thought, hey, for six bucks, I'm not going to run the risk of trying to come back later and one of these be gone. I just went ahead and got them both. And like I said, I'll figure something out. I may throw Tomax as a surprise entry into the uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Anyway, the entries for that has been cut off, so keep a little check on Facebook. Like I said, I'll be posting a video with a live premiere this Saturday, which is October the 7th. What is this Saturday? Let's look real quick. Yep, October the 7th, Saturday night, 8, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We will put a video on YouTube announcing the winner of the giveaway. So if you entered the giveaway, make sure to check that out. If you didn't enter, I'm sorry, it's too late. Uh, we also picked up Sergeant Stalker. But again, this isn't one that I can really say I desperately wanted. I just, I like the figure, I like the look of it. And then for six bucks, I mean, come on. I'm also going to hurt throwing Stalker into the collection there. All right, my last pickup. I did go back into Bristol Target today. I've been in there almost every day this week because they keep putting out new stuff. I was in there on Monday. They had the X-Men 97 Carded Legends. Uh, you saw that I picked up Magneto and I picked up Gambit. Um, Wolverine, I really wanted. I don't know about Bishop. The, the Bishop figure without the long hair, I might see it and be blown away and want to get it, but I just, I, I don't know. I wish you had the mullet. I mean, I don't know why they took the man's mullet. But anyways, we did go back in and they had five of Wolverine. So we did pick up a Wolverine. And I did go through these because the claws were bent on all the others. So I had to get every one of them off the pegs and examine his claws there to make sure I got the one where the claws weren't bent because these aren't coming off card and I want the claws to look good inside the bubble. It looks like he's looking at me very judgingly right now for that. But anyways, we got Wolverine. I uh, still haven't seen Bishop. We'll have to try to track him down this weekend. And I'm not seeing anybody find Rogue and Storm. Are they not out yet? Are they coming a little bit later? If somebody knows, let me know. I don't know if I'll complete this wave. I may just stick with the three that I've got. Um, Cyclops comes out. I do want Cyclops and Sabretooth. Oh, man. Hope they put out a Sabretooth. But anyways, we picked up Wolverine. And as far as my pickups, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've had a great week. All you other collectors, hope you found all kinds of good stuff. Um... As far as my social media, Instagram, be sure to look me up on there. You have information in the description of this video, the link to get to my Instagram. If you go to my About page on YouTube, you'll find the link there as well. And right on the bottom of the screen here, you should see it coming at you there, flashing a little bit, showing you where to go on Instagram, want to type in the link there to get to the Man Collects Instagram. So be sure to find me and follow me on there. And of course, the most important social media, the YouTube channel, The Man Collects. If you haven't subscribed yet, if you're your first time coming here, you've come back multiple times, you know, we got a little casual thing going here where you're watching the videos, consider clicking subscribe and see what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. Now, I got a little crossed up here earlier and talked about this, you know, before I probably should have, but the 1,000 subscriber giveaway video um, that will be put up, this video you're watching now will drop on Friday the 6th. That 1,000 subscriber giveaway where I'm going to announce the winner will post with a live premiere Saturday, October the 7th at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
Uh, you don't have to be present in the chat. I want to do a live stream, guys. I don't have to set up in here to do a live stream yet. I do apologize for that. But I am going to record the video and do a live premiere. I'll be there in the chat. Um, you don't have to be there to win. Whoever wins, I'll, put, I'll leave that video up. If we're friends on Instagram, I'll try to reach out to you. I'll put a post on YouTube and tag you in it. So hopefully you get notification you know, to get up with me for whoever wins the contest. But like I said, check back here Saturday for that video. And we'll see who's going to win the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. With all that being said, guys, I really appreciate you watching the video. Again, I hope you've had a great week. Have a great weekend. And I will see you back here on Saturday.